What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another q and I want to answer a question that came in. I'm going to read you a little bit of the, uh, the question here so you get some context as to where I'm going. Basically, I've got somebody here that's making a switch from, uh, from one career into IT, completely different career into IT. Currently holds a Network Plus certification. He's working as a network and desktop technician for a company. And what he's looking to do is really what he wants to become is that he says he wants to become a network administrator for Cisco or other companies. He wants to know what certifications he needs. Second question he asks, the same question about becoming a Windows admin. What job positions would I specifically need to take in order to climb up to those two positions? I was thinking desktop support up to Windows admin. I'm not too sure how to climb up the ladder or up to a network administrator, okay? So it's a great question. So basically, he's already ahead of himself. He wants to become a network admin. He's got his Network Plus uh, CompTIA certification, which is a good start, okay? He's already in the field working as a network and desktop guy. Um, so he's got his foot in the door. Now all he needs to do is figure out which way he wants to go. So does he want to focus on the networking side of things or does he want to go towards more of a Windows slash systems administrator type uh, situation? Uh, if you want to go the network way, okay, if you want to focus on the actual network um, uh, activities, so monitoring networks and setting up networks and things like that, you can definitely go on the Cisco track. So um, the first certification you take is the CCNA and you'd start there and just kind of work your way up through those certifications. And then, um, you know, you're already working for a company as a network and desktop person. So that really is the entrance. That is the, that's sort of the bottom of the ladder, if you will, to climb up, okay? So if you wanted to go the Windows admin or systems admin type uh, route, then you could possibly look at doing some of the Microsoft certifications. Um, or if, if you're a Linux guy, then uh, you can go for some of the Linux, uh, Linux admin uh, type certifications. It could just kind of depends which way you want to go. Um, you can start off with, with uh, Microsoft. If that's where you want to end up, then uh, start taking their, their entry level certifications and then um, just work your way up in the job that you're at now as a network and desktop guy. So if you're doing network and desktop, I'm guessing you're doing a little bit of both. Okay, so you're doing some of the network stuff and then you're doing some of the, the, the Windows administration. The Windows administration on the desktop level, albeit, but at least you're into it, okay? You, you got your foot in there, you, you understand the basics, now you just gotta get to the server level and understand how to administer servers, right? So the Microsoft server operating systems. Or, again, if we talk about Linux, um, you just wanna talk about the, the Linux side of, of, of things. Um, and the reason I'm bringing up Linux is because when I first started talking about, when I first started this channel, really, about this, this Q&A, um, I didn't really talk a lot about Linux, but over the year and a half or almost two years I've been doing this, I've gotten a lot of Linux uh, interest. I've had two interviews with Linux admins, so I don't want to leave that out because I understand how important that uh, operating system is in, in today's world. Uh, so that's why I'm throwing that out there as well. But to work your way up, it's the same thing. Um, you just you start somewhere at an entry level job doing network and desktop support and then just work your way up. Now, if you want to do that in the company that you're currently with, then it, it, I would do that, okay? If it's a company that you like working for and there's opportunity to move up, then stick there because you know people, you've built relationships there, and it'll be easier to maneuver yourself, okay? If you hate your job, then basically you're just gonna have to start over somewhere else, okay? So you can stay where you're at, continue the, the, the experience and the knowledge and, and gain all that you can until you can come across something else, okay? You might be able to find another opportunity 
as say a junior network admin or a junior system slash windows admin because they do have those types of positions then that would be your next level so you'd go from desktop or network support okay or even you, you can even throw help desk in there as well your next jump would be a junior a junior admin of some sort okay and uh, and then from junior admin then you work your way up to you know some depends on the company what they call it but you know senior level would be the next one uh, in, in most companies right you'd be a senior administrator or senior network administrator or whatever the title is for that specific company and that's basically how you climb the ladder and uh, that's really it um, again just a quick recap decide which way you want to go do you want to go networking you want to go windows um, networking you can take that Cisco track of course and, and get those Cisco certifications because they will always be very very helpful on a resume that will look good on a resume and um, and I mean Cisco certifications will also apply if, if you go for like network security uh, type jobs as well like security administrators uh, they will consider that as well uh, if you want to go strictly the Windows slash systems admin you can get those Microsoft certifications, Linux certifications, that type of thing, and then kind of work your way in from where you're at now uh, as a desktop guy. And, uh, and then just kind of go from there. Um, you're off to a good start, and just keep chugging along, keep working at it, make those connections, don't burn bridges, and build your network, okay? Build your network of people. Build that Rolodex, because that is what's gonna get you where you wanna go in this field and, and basically any field I've talked about this in past videos your network it's your, your network is your net worth uh, and, and that's just that's the way that we survive in this world is it's about who we know and who we build those relationships with and uh, so very important stuff hope that helps you out uh, if this is your first time here I want to welcome you to this channel um, hope that you like the content here if you, if you haven't subscribed yet would love a subscription. Don't forget the thumbs up on the videos as well. I appreciate that stuff. And uh, and um, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, you could do that. There's a link at the bottom. And last but not least, um, if you haven't downloaded my resource guide, you could do that as well. So we we'll hope to talk to you here real soon. If you have questions, you can post that in the comments section. You can always send me private messages as well. And I'll do my best to get back to them as soon as possible. Talk to you in the next video.